I've come to the stone steps. That's cool. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the stunning Appalachian Mountains in the fall time. Very excited to hike up this trail. Somebody took a lot of time to put these stones together like this. But I have miles and miles of trail before me. I have a backpack with all my fishing stuff and cooking stuff, everything I'll need for a long day. Got one fishing rod here and tons of trail to hike. Just gonna explore forward, see what I find. There's supposed to be water falls along this trail, wild animals, maybe we'll find some wild people. I don't know all what, but should be a great time out here. Let's do it. This is cool. Look at the trees on the hillside there. Wow. Wow, wow, what a beautiful time to come out here. Oh, I love the smell out here. That crisp fall smell. I think it got down to freezing last night. You hear that? I think the stream is starting to get bigger and uh, become more waterfall-like. And you see, of course, these hills and stuff here. This is, this is the perfect spot for, you know, a stream to go tumbling down over a hill and make a real nice waterfall. Here are the birds. Check it out, guys. Wow, this is so cool. Wow. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna spend the day, ladies and gentlemen. Got some hikers over there. And the stream continues on. But I wanted to come to the, the best, part for, best part first because I skipped a whole bunch of the stream, even though there were some juicy looking spots so I wanted to come here. All right, I got a rigged up here on the top of my backpack. I have a couple options. I have the Ace Videos 2 box, or I have a bunch of spinners. I also have a 10 millimeter. In fact, they have bear signs all over at the head of the trail. If you get eaten, it's not our fault, or something to that effect. I'm actually using a new spinning rod today. This is its uh, first outing ever. It's supposed to be like this ultra high quality one without being like the, the ultra high quality price. I actually trust the guy who sent me this because he used to work for another rod company and they were extremely well-made rods you know I gotta start off with my tubes here first color I'm gonna start off trying is called hair's ear this has quickly become one of my favorites I'm just gonna add a little scent to it the best scent in the world dry creek outfitters trophy bass gel scent before I cast I need some water after that long hike brought this little like filtration system and I just stick the filter right on you see it comes out pretty fast but it's nice to have unlimited drinking water out here without all the weight all right first cast of the day oh that didn't cast very far at all I'll have to add a split shot or two onto this Oh, I just, that was a bite right there. 
second cast of the day. It's hard to get it through all these uh, leaves and stuff. They're just biting it, guys, but they're not wanting to eat it, so I gotta switch colors. Switch to a little uh, changeable crawfish color here. Got him. Got one. Yes. Oh, it's a nice one. Excellent. Look at that. Oh, sweet. A rainbow. It's so dark. I had a hard time. I was like, what is that? It's a rainbow. Got to be careful here. Yes. Look at that. Look how dark that fish is. I had a hard time figuring out what it was at first. On the Ace Videos tube, see, guys, I was getting bites on one color, switched to another, and got this trout. Use this leaf as a kind of a claw to grab him. Trout are always hard to hold on to. There we go. I think I'm gonna keep, I am gonna keep this guy to eat, and uh, I'm gonna let the, the brook trout go and eat the rainbows. There we go, my friends. First trout ever at these waterfalls. Adding a second sink sinker to get some extra weight was definitely the way to go because I could cast it almost to the falls. Although that fish wasn't in the falls, but he may have followed it out, I don't know. All right, my friends. After getting the tube snagged and having to break off, I thought, you know, I'm gonna try a big spinner that I can actually cast all the way in the, in the foam of the waterfall there. And uh, this one just looked really good. I just bought this, it's brand new. Just the color, I don't know, I saw it and I was like, I gotta buy it. Not that, like, that's a rare thing. I see all kinds of fishing lures I have to buy, but you know what I mean. My friend Aaron actually told me, I asked him about this spot. I said, have you ever fished here? And he said, dude, I've heard that if you roll big spinners slowly across the bottom, you can get big brown trout. That's what he said. And he said, he, I think he just said he heard that. He, not that he had experience, but anyway, shout out to Aaron if this works. Got him. Sweet. I paused it that time on the spinner. See if it's a brown or a ra another dark one. What in the heck? Whoa. Almost. What is that? I honestly don't know what it is still. It keeps moving. It's so dark. Are you kidding me? I think it's a brown trout. <sighs> it's a brown trout. Shout out to Aaron for for giving me the tip. He said, dude, roll, roll uh, spinners through. Oh, I got him in the eye. Just buried it in his eye. You know, I might be eating this one actually. I might uh, go back on what I said about only eating the rainbows just because it just got him real good there. Well, the brand new spinner worked after like three casts. Sweet, there's no size limit in this uh, stream. Excellent. Well, brown and rainbow trout. There we go. There's dinner, folks. And uh, I think I'll release anything else I catch after this. Just fish for fun. Now, that's that was quick work. This is great. That is so funny how I text Aaron. I'm like, have you ever fished these falls? His text back. I've heard if you slow roll a spinner, you can get big brown trout. I slow roll a big bit, big spinner, get brown trout. All right, my friends. I am gonna move on and find a little spot here. I am really hungry. It is past my lunch time. I'm actually not gonna cook up the trout yet because I have more fishing and stuff I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is find a little spot down here to make a fire. This spot is perfect. A little log to sit on. Nice view of the river. Sweet. All right, my friends, this is kind of cool. So I have everything here. I've got the, the water, which I showed you guys. And then I have 
all my cook stuff for the day right in here. And I, even though I went a little Spartan, I actually have some nice little luxuries. Check it out. This is a mocha cappuccino instant powder from one of my dad's MREs. Uh, he gave this to me. I've got some little Tabasco sauce, flavor up our trout in a little bit. And then chicken teriyaki, a mountain house adventure meal with, uh, sissy, with white, or with rice, green peas, carrots, peppers, and onions, freeze dried. I don't think I've ever had one of these before, but I thought this would make a nice little lunch. 12 grams of protein. Nice. Ready in 10 minutes. Guess I should have read the instructions. Ah, remove and discard oxygen absorber. It's good I think I read the instructions. There she is. That's cool. Nice. A little water heating up. Smells like an old Hershey's bar. <laughs> that shouldn't, I'm just gonna leave that just for half a second and grab this. That's cool looking. There we go. Just let that sit for 10, or uh, wait, 5 minutes, and then 5 minutes, and let stand for 4 minutes, okay? In the meantime, enjoy some hot cappuccino. Hopefully this isn't from an old MRE. Tastes good. That's really nice. And have some hot coffee out here in the woods like this that's really nice I might have to buy some MREs for myself for these uh, these trips because um I mean, it's cool to get these but these are expensive with an MRE you kind of you get the whole meal that's so nice so I'm gonna have my first cast seasoning standing by there just in case this isn't flavorful enough I think I added a, yeah, I added the right amount of water. Wow, that's amazing how it becomes just like rehydrated like that. Uh, what a blessed day. That hike, the hike to here was fun. Then to be able to catch some fish underneath those new waterfalls. Never fished there before. Wow. So there are actually a lot of good flavors there. There are so many good flavors, like it's well seasoned. There's actually no need for my first cast seasoning. They did a great job. I thought it would be bland. The, the chicken is a little spongy. I don't like it though. This is real nice. Very lightweight too. Take the water and pour it over the fire. One more scoop. All right, my friends, fun little spot here. I'm gonna keep fishing and then uh, also explore for crawfish in just a bit. Gone back to the tube, same color I caught the rainbow on. I'm just gonna work some of these little, uh, little riffles and stuff here. Guys, I see a huge crawdad, huge crawdad right there. Let's see if he'll eat my tube. I was headed down to a pool down there I saw and this big crawfish. There he is, there he is, you guys see him on the surface. He, he's not eating it, he just has it, so I can't lift him unless he's like super, look at that, bam. Oh look, never mind. he doesn't have to eat it. To... Guys, <laughs> look at that, are you kidding me? That is a Mongo crawdad and he just doesn't wanna let go of the tube. Look how similar in color the tube is to him. In fact, it's like an exact match. 
that's why I caught that trout. I just needed to switch up the color of tube and uh, the trout ate it. That is so cool. Um, that is, that's amazing to me. The color match there. He has some long skinny claws. You know, the crawdads get so big in these streams because there are no bass to eat them. And of course the little trout aren't gonna mess with a dude like that. He'd pinch their face off. Bro. Look, he, look he's pinching now with two claws. What the heck? You know what? I admire the tenacity. You can keep that too, bro. It's his prize. Need to be extra careful. Make sure this guy doesn't get away. By the way, if you guys want to check out my tube tackle box, link in the description. It's funny. Actually, I just thought of this. So I have two crawfish colors there. You might think they look similar, and they are. Well, they are similar. You might think they look similar because that's exactly what they are. Um, but <laughs> those, that slight color variation, the one on the top has little orange and uh, green flakes in it. Um, matches the crawdads this time of year at this particular stream but in the past in fact all summer I used the bottom one there and that is the color that has actually caught me the most trout this year but I thought I'd switch it up and and uh, that one is definitely matching the hatch better this all looks so good around here trout don't need very um, very much water to live <laughs> they will live in some little pools what a beautiful day. Wow. Guys, here's a crawdad. Look at, he's eating on the tail of the trout. Got him. <laughs> he's still holding on. Look at that. He's still holding on to the trout tail. Dude, that is sweet. You know, I need to cut these trout, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. As I move around and fish, we'll add him to the bag. There's two. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. Watch this. Grab the knife out. I mean, the trout are already, they're giving off some scent, but to really get the crawdads coming around, I'm not even gonna gut them. I'm just gonna cut them open. The crawdads can gut them if they want. <laughs> this is gonna be perfect. I can have these out attracting crawdads, and I can keep fishing. All right, trout and crawdads, two trout, two crawfish. We keep heading down stream here. Let's explore down this way a little bit more, but then go back to the waterfalls and probably cook up there and see if there's gonna be a hot evening bite as well. Wow, as if, I mean, at every turn, there's a new, beautiful vista. How cool. Man, oh man, how cool. Folks, I'm seeing all of this for the first time. Got him, got him. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck? Look at this. Are you kidding me? Whoa, what the? Are you? Oh my gosh, it's a huge brown trout. Look at this, guys. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. I, I saw a couple of small trout. I did not see any big ones in here. Look at that beautiful fish. Whoa. That was totally, I mean, Good grief. I would say it's totally unexpected, but I mean, I am fishing, hoping, always hoping for big fish, but like I saw a 10 incher swimming around and I was trying to catch him. Wow, I did not see this fish at all. Look, he's got the tube right in the corner of the mouth. I switched to a little jig head just because I thought I want this to crawl along the bottom like a, like a crawfish now. Wow. Thank you, Lord. What a beautiful creature. That is so cool. That is the biggest brown trout I've ever caught in a stream. Personal best brown trout for stream fishing. Wow, what what a catch. What a, uh, what a stream catch on my, oh, hey, hey, stay in the water there. There we go, there we go, we'll get a release on you. That is a huge fish for a stream. Maybe not trophy, 
But wow. Set him in the water there. He doesn't need... I was about to say he needs to be... Re, he don't need to be revived. There he goes. That is cool. Definitely personal best for me. Um, not brown trout overall. Got a bigger one in the lake, but in a stream for sure. But I want to go back up to my waterfall. You can see starting to get a little dark out here in the mountains too. It gets... Or it, it feels like it gets darker, especially if you're in a ravine. So I'm going to head back up to the waterfall. And uh, let's cook up our catch and fish just a little more. How cool. Stick the trout and everything right there. Look at that cast. Excellent. Oh man, this is fun. This is fun. I've had a great day. I love this kind of thing. Look at this. I mean, beautiful waterfalls. It just doesn't get anything better than this. Fishing wise, there are a lot of things better than this. I mean, getting married, having a baby, the McRib, trolley gummy worms, a woman in a red dress with red lipstick, flying an airplane. Flying a seaplane or flying with a woman in a red dress in red lipstick. She has the red dress and the red lipstick on, not me. You know, all kinds of things better than this, but this is pretty great. Do I, do I have one? Oh, uh, no, it's on another stick. Well, I'm getting all the sticks out of there. Yeah, there we go. My friends, that was fun. Um... Let's see here. How much light do I have left? So I have to hike back. You can see on the ridge there, it's still light. It just feels really dark down in here. I'm going to cook up. I'm going... Oh, we got to check the... Cru oh, wow. Look what's been going on underwater here. Got another one. There we go. That's three. One thing that's real nice about these adventure meals is they have that sealable thing. I just throw all my trash in them. And uh, that makes it very nice. This is going to be very simple, folks, because I mean, there's no point in getting a big elaborate recipe up when all I can take are just a few little things. So, I set the frying pan on there. Then I just have your little olive oil. I would have brought butter, but I was afraid that butter might melt a little and drip and all that stuff. So, I figured a nice, clean little uh, thing of little bottle of oil would be good. Oil should be hot enough. It's not smoking yet. Take a uh, trout. Oh, excellent. Nice little... Let's see. Uh, I'm going to cook them both at once here. Nah, that's crowd in the pan. Take a little of my first cast seasoning. Whoa. Don't want the flame to get too out of hand. There we go. 
This Mongo Crawdad, I think he just likes to grab onto things. No longer does he have his little tube. He's hang still hanging onto that stuff. I'm gonna kill him real quick. There we go, and uh, let's add him to the frying pan as well. Nice. A little hibachi going on here. Woo, what the? Whoa, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it. Whoa. Got to cool that down a little bit there. This is, this is Ace's Outdoor Hibachi. Sit across from me and I'll throw food at you. You can catch it in your mouth. Whew, this is kind of like wok cooking. <sighs> what a good time. What a, what a magical spot. All right, my friends, I think this is done. Look at that. Done on this side. Say a prayer for this blessed day. What a fun spot. All right. So, fresh caught. Brown trout. Wow. It's perfection. It is absolute perfection as far as trout goes. Does not get any better than this. Just wild. There's You can't even compare it to anything. Like It's just so superior to any kind of store-bought fish. Or even like... 95% of the fish you get at restaurants when it comes straight out of the stream, the Fred Mountain Stream, big crawdad right there, and then right into the frying pan. That's a nice tail. That was that was a big crawfish there. Crawfish is good since it's a mountain crawfish super clean products that's so interesting i've always like put them in boils and stuff like that i have to say throwing them in a frying pan is really good too I wonder if we're overthinking it with all the crazy boils and stuff like that hmm. well my friends as amazing at this spot is as this spot is it's getting dark out here it is a little bit darker in the ravine you can actually see blue sky above me but i need to get hiking back the waterfall was amazing the changing of the trees, stunning. What a great day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Keep getting out there. Keep trying new things, exploring new places. Leveling up in real life. See you in the next one.